uh, the whole idea behind this organization uh, because these kids the uh, majority of them are orphans uh, they don't have mother and father some do have mothers the whole idea is to give them a good education uh, give them a good um, uh, religious um, background so that these kids when they grow up they can stand on their own two feet and they can do something for themselves they can make a living out of what they do i am trying to make these kids independent i am uh, besides schooling and quran uh, the girls have learned stitching um, cutting everything i bought in an ex expert tailor and now the children they make dresses and shalwar kameez if you see them you will say it's come from a boutique that's how good they are and uh, also we teach them computer um uh, glass painting uh, candle making whatever i can teach them i teach them. and uh, also i take them out a lot so that they can see outside um um uh, sit with uh, people and see how they behave and whatever and um, see the world outside what it's like because i just don't want them to be here you know closed up they should go out and they should see everything uh, so that when they do finally leave me after marriage i mean they would be fine as ratul jana is 24 years but um, karachi branch is for the last this is the 13th year and you laid the foundation stone yes uh what inspired me to do this actually um my husband was working for pia gate in dubai and i used to come to pakistan quite a lot because my children my own children were here studying and um i used to see the kids on the traffic signals begging dirty clothes no shoes and and i used to ask the people you know why 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 do these kids do this oh this is what they do and you know you cannot stop them after living in dubai about 9 10 years i said to my husband resign from pia and let's go back and try to build a place where we can keep all these kids my husband resigned we came back after 2 months i started actually when i first came to pakistan um we we uh, ended up in royal pindi and i started in royal pindi uh, a very backward area and as soon as i opened the kids started coming in i mean so many but The problem there in Pindi was the weather. It was too hot, low shedding, and I was very sick, and I just couldn't take it. And then um, my husband again sent me back to Dubai, and he shifted the children. He found a place and shifted to all the children to Murray, and called me back. In Murray, we took a rented place, but Murray, no doubt, is a beautiful place. But uh, the people's hearts there. I like the place. Stop. They would not accept me at all. This lady is uh, Kaidiani. I don't know what she's teaching them. She's not teaching them Quran. And over the border, there used to be a problem every single time. They used to put wood in my pipes, so that the wood swells yes. up, and I wasn't getting any water for six months. I was not getting one drop of water, and I bought the big, you know, gallons. And I used to go to the Cheshma uh, with a Suzuki, fill them up, and we used to we manage uh, on that for six months. And even now, I mean, uh, the muddy the people are still uh, hostile. Uh, they they are. I don't know. We 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 left that place. We built our own place. I believe that it's jealousy. they can't see outsiders um doing so well because no doubt uh, when you go to mari i mean this is in company bag you can see that this is the most beautiful building in mari there's three buildings i built a mosque and two other buildings were residential and uh, no doubt it is a very beautiful place it's it's not just the orphanage i mean uh, like these kids who come to me okay they have mother okay uh, some of them have mother they have little brothers and sisters at home there is so many problems the mother is working in uh, a bungalow she cannot afford her rent she cannot afford i also help the widows i will give them ration because what i believe if you give allah will give you more 
that is my belief and and i i have seen it so many times that it is unbelievable and i really believe that uh, allah is with me i go out to the, the the marketplace and you know i buy sweaters for instance i buy sweaters for the kids i spend about 60000 i get home and there's one lakh rupees donation so whatever i do you know allah is watching and allah is giving and this is my really a really strong belief that if you are good and you are going on the straight path you know allah will always help you no matter what donation uh, it's um, it's it's run actually totally on donations and we do not have any regular donors whereas i can say okay this month we're going to be fine no i just have to pray that the amount comes and we are able to pay i i was in a problem last year i think it was uh, just before not last year year before just before ramadan and um, it was a very bad crisis i couldn't pay the school fees for two months i couldn't pay the electricity and the money was just building and building up and i wasn't sleeping i wasn't eating i was just crying that ya allah what will happen to these children allah please help me then i got an idea why i don't just don't send messages to the people who help me and i send messages please not for me for the sake of these kids and for the sake of allah please help me and then the people started coming and my problem was so in the karachi branch uh, i mean uh, karachi branch uh, there are a lot of people coming in like uh, university colleges um, they make um, uh, functions for the children they celebrate their birthdays here with the children uh, there's they have carnivals like greenwich university there's carnival they they always arrange a carnival there nixa college they are always helping and individual students like from bayview academy um uh, bacon house uh, lyceum school uh, american school i mean a lot of kids are involved and this is what really surprised that the young generation they are into this and i think it's really a great thing i mean um, a, a boy came to me from uh, bacon house bacon house yes and he was not more than 11 years of age 11 12 years of age and that kid alone he raised so much that he bought me fridge he bought me washing machine all the things i needed i said to him son i need this 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 i mean the kids they are they are they are amazing they're fantastic that is for sure until um, i mean until i am alive i will be doing this i will i will never give this up and my aim and my goal is to educate these children educate them not only educate them education is not everything manners how to mix in society inshallah in my my last wish in life is that these children should have a place of their own this is not our place this is a rented premises and they don't have any play area and this really hurts me the kids they want to run around they they fresh air into their lungs and um, i am trying and i i i i found a bungalow in it was purposely built for a school and it is ideal for this place 24 rooms and i just i love the place uh, make a room in their name their loved ones their mother their father their whatever sister brother and the name plate will be put there so that always the sawab will go to these people so i'm i'm going to do that way if someone like 10 lakh rupees per room because for me to raise 5 crore really my last thing i want in my life